So there are many types of different Android phones available. You have Android phones that have the gesture bar, and you have the Android phones that basically have the navigation bar at the bottom. Now, I will tell you there are pros and cons for each one of these. And the big question is, which one should you go ahead and use? The navigation bar, or should you use this like, you know, three button navigation system that they have on some Android devices? Now, most phones that basically give you these three bars at the bottom give you the opportunity of changing between the two. And you can always do this within your settings application. So if you go and hop out, the big thing to keep in mind is it really just depends on your preference style and the aesthetic that you're trying to go for. So you can always change this by going into your settings of your particular Android phone, swapping into a panel that looks like this, going into your display settings, and then finding the gesture you know, panel or the you know, navigation mode option, which comes up right here. You can go and do gesture navigation, or you can do three button navigation. You can choose whichever way you want to go. Now, the big thing to keep in mind is that it shows you right here what the main differences are between a gesture and navigation. Now, you can see gesture navigation. It tells you to go home, you swipe up, whatever. Three button navigation, it gives you these buttons. You can configure the different ways that you want to go and kind of configure them. You can see gesture navigation has a lot more options that you can kind of choose from. But the main thing I will tell you, it comes down to the aesthetic. I like, you know, in some cases, being able to click a button and get to everything. Three button navigation is very simple because it gives you everything you need to. If you open up an application, you can just click on the home button to go home. If you want to get into your recents panel, you can see everything here. If you want to go back, you can just click this back button. So at the core, it's actually very nice. It's very straightforward. You can also hold down on the home button if you want to access the Google panel. And it's a very, very nice thing. However, everything you can do on here, you can also do on the gesture bar. But not everything kind of you can do here can go here. And I'll explain that in a second. For one, one of the big things that I love doing on my particular you know, phones that have that jet, you know, that gesture navigation bar like this is the fact that I can go through and quickly from one place to another, just kind of just swipe through my particular devices. So what I can do, so if I go and you know open up Google Chrome, if I go into a page like this, I can simply with one hand just go back to the previous page by dragging on the side right here. This is one a massive thing that I love being able to do. If I open up an application or if I'm inside of the Google Play Store, if I'm inside of Instagram, I want to go back. I can just go right here rather than clicking on the back button. I can also go forward by going right here too, if in some cases, I guess it doesn't really work right here. But you can go forward, you can go backwards, and it's a really cool thing for most applications. You can also hold down on the bar at the bottom usually to get access to certain things. It really depends on the newer type of Google. Like if you want to do Galaxy AI or Google AI, Gemini, you can hold down on some newer Android phones to get access to that too. And you can swipe between all these different applications like this, which is really, really nice. So if I want to quickly go from one app to the other, I can just lift it up and kind of go from here to the other. And it's actually really nice. On a multitasking panel on inside of the you know, phones that basically give you the three button layout, you have to, you know, there's no way to quickly swipe between them. You have to like, you know, click on here, then swipe through and then click on here and then click on here and then swipe through and click on here and then click on here, like so on and so forth. So it can be kind of annoying for some people. I personally like being able to just swipe through from this side and it actually makes things a lot nicer and just so much smoother. And I feel like it's just like the Samsung Galaxy S21 I have here is significantly older than the Google Pixel 8a, but it feels like a faster phone. Like it feels significantly faster, much more snappier when you have the gestures. It can be a little bit annoying, cumbersome sometimes, but that's another advantage. One of the biggest advantages in this day and age is the screen burn-in. So one of the other things to keep in mind is that if you're going to want to go and use this like three button layout all the time, you have to keep in mind by doing that, you're going to be having these three buttons here all of the time. And that can mean that screen burn-in can happen at a lot faster of a rate, especially if you have the light theme. If you have the dark theme, it darkens them a little bit, but that can be a really big problem that a lot of people may end up having. Inside of the gesture-based design that you have here, what you can always do is you can just swipe up, but you can see it doesn't take up that much, you know, room. It gives you the same functionality as before. In fact, I think it gives you more. But the thing is, it gives you more screen real estate. So there's more screen real estate there. It's taking up less room on the screen. And also, it's not going to have that big of an effect on screen burn-in. And even if this little part gets burnt in, it's not going to be that big of a deal. And for a lot of Android phones, you can even turn that off. So... I definitely do think the gesture-based design you have inside of the you know phones that you have nowadays, I think the, the that method is better than the three-button layout that a lot of phones are basically giving you. So in my personal opinion, that's kind of how I see it. I'm always going to prefer the gestures over the three-button layout as at this point. So that pretty much covers it up here. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. 
hit the like button that would be so much but definitely hit that subscribe button more importantly than everything else i love every single one of you guys hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next video